So, so we are back with a new episode of my favorite series, and that is Can I Really Make That? I really don't think so. Obviously, we can. In this series, we go through all the most famous pieces of furniture design in history, and we remake them with very little amount of equipment, nothing professional, and incredibly tiny budget. In today's episode, we're gonna make the Pierre Generac Easy Chair and we're gonna make it just with a bunch of sticks. This means that we are gonna spend something like $50. Okay, maybe 80. I don't know, we're gonna calculate it at the end. But the original one goes on the market for $1,500. So, I'm gonna save you some money. Like always, the most complicated part of all these tutorials is just the mathematical calculation, but don't worry. I already did that and I'm gonna share it with you at the end of the video uh, corrected because probably I will find out while making this that there's some things that I would have preferred differently, so follow till the end. <laughs> Step number one is creating the sitting and the backrest. So first thing you're gonna see me doing is literally measuring every single piece of wood and marking where I need it to be cut in so that they can be all of the right size. This little triangular thing is my new discovery of the century. It really helps you going straight all the time and I do not know how I was doing things before meeting him. Anyway, you mark all of them, you cut it away and you're literally ready to go. Great, we're gonna end up with six pieces of 50 centimeters two of 46 and two of 25. Now all we have to do is put them together and create two different boxes. Two pieces of 50 go with the 49, 46 in the middle. We are finally going ahead and attaching every single piece of wood one to the other, but I'm using this specific head so that the nails end up going completely inside the wood so that you cannot see them afterwards. Is exactly what we needed. This is the seat where you put your pretty juicy bum. This is gonna be the back of the chair, like this. Somebody wants to that on. I'm so popular. Okay, and then we have these two extra 50 pieces that are gonna be the bottom of our chair because. As you can see, even though it's not so visible, there is two extra reinforcements under the chair. So we did those. No! Let's do the back. No, the armrest. Specifically for the armrest and for the legs, we are gonna use the pieces of wood that are like twice the size of our frame. This was the frame, and you can see it's literally twice. So this is five centimeters, and this is gonna be 10. Even if you find it's eight centimeters, nine centimeters, it's okay, but we need this to be way bigger because we are gonna base the entire weight of our structure on this. As a big and juicy surprise, since we did basically everything of a size of 50, that's exactly what we're doing also for our armrest. And we need two of those. So, take out your ruler and mark 50 again. For the legs and the arm situation, there's gonna be a little bit of a different cut because not only we need to mark the length that we want for it, there's also like an inclination of the line. Basically, you start fat and you end up at five centimeters because the line is diagonal. So you're gonna see me cutting this out. And also the size. And now let's talk about literally the only complicated part of this chair. And that is that the legs are not straight. So we can see that there's like this weird cut in the middle that shows that it's in diagonal and I have no freaking clue how to calculate that, so I invented a hack. We're literally gonna cross the two legs one on top of each other, open the legs of our chair to the 50 centimeters that it needs to go to the 50. 47. 47, to the 47 centimeters that we need to open it and then cut it. Step one, we align the two pieces of wood one on top of the other. Then we are gonna randomly, but leaving like a lot on top, Gonna put a screw here, just so that we can use it as a center point. Not too, not too much. I wanna be able to, I wanna be able to move them like this. Ta-da! Basically, what you guys see me doing here is using two sticks to calculate what is the dimension that I'm opening the legs to and the height that I wanted from the beginning, so that I'm sure that I'm having the right stability on the legs. 
So yeah, this is like a self-created thing. You can totally remake it at home. Just mark the 68 centimeters for the height, the 47 that we wanted for the legs, and just play with it till you find the solution and finally cut it out. Look at that! It's a perfect match! I don't even know how is it possible that it's working, but it is. Wait a second. These are the legs, which match, and they're straight. This is the armrest that we are gonna position on top, like this. So good! Let's double it. And from one, two. Guys, this literally took me like an hour of work, including the fact that I had to do all the math that you are not gonna have to do. And we're almost done with the chair. Now assemble it and I say partially just because it is basically impossible to staple the rattan inside once that all the pieces are put together so first we're gonna assemble what we need to assemble check that everything is in place and after that we're gonna take out the sitting area and the back area so that we can put the rattan on top of it first we're gonna find the middle of our arm this is 50 so it's 25 it's here we're gonna position the middle in the middle here we are. Great! We have now the two sides of the chair like this. And we are now going to create the base of the sitting area. What we do know is that the sitting part is going to be at 45 centimeters, the tallest part. So that's where we're going to position this, even though we're not screwing this in yet. But to have a guide, so this has to be at 45 from the floor. So we have it way too high. It has to be here. 45, perfect. Same thing on the other side, on the other side, on the other side. Okay, like always, if you ask a friend to help you, it's way better. <laughs> but okay, we're gonna do one leg at a time and I need to make a tiny mark. Okay. And now that we have this one at 45, we know that the base that I told you is the extra one, where does this one have to go? So we're gonna go under the chair seat that we just added, and boom, boom. Can you just see it from closer? I think you can see it. This is where I'm going. are all inside and super pretty there's only one thing to do and that is wood filler basically what we're gonna do is exactly like when you have a hole in your wall we're gonna go and fill up all the holes where we have our screws so that they're gonna become completely invisible yep yeah, you just go and press this filler inside every single hole that you create with a screw and the screw is gonna be completely hidden hidden Subscribers, and that is Layla, that is Leslie, that is Kismet Sarkin, that is Shalom, that is Asia, that is Anais L, that is Shahar Sham, Zari, and Jananine Anandan. And now, time to make the sitting area. We have to put all this in water. We're gonna let it soak for like 30 minutes, and then we're ready to staple it on the chair. and I think it's perfect like this but last time that I did this kind of chair I got fried saying that it wouldn't hold your weight you're gonna die it's gonna break it's gonna last one week that chair is still stable but in case you like to sit on chairs like this with a lot of friends like one on top of each other then <laughs> I'm gonna add this one inside so basically I'm gonna put this to hold the rat on from the inside so there's no way that this is gonna fall you see you see I listen to you for a reason that I don't understand, but I totally don't judge. I do not 
think that this step is a mandatory, but yes, it will give you more stability, so just do it. And I added this little line of wood on all four the borders, not for the back, but only on the thinning area where we need more reinforcement, and then reassembled everything together. Another episode is done. I hope you had fun. Do not forget to subscribe to see all the incredible DIYs and dupes that we do on this channel. And now, let's go see the result. Thank you.